absolute kings of the red wine scene. It makes some of the most revered and interesting red wines across the globe. I can say this in quite confidently because they really do produce some of the most age-worthy and interesting complex red wines. Grenache, where is it planted, you might be asking? Well, most of you, I'm sure, have heard of, seen, or even tasted, if you're lucky enough, a really good Chateau Neuf de Pup. Now, this is the region where Grenache really comes into its own. It is the head of a blend with a few other grape varietals, such as Syrah and Mouvedre. And here, Chateau Neuf de Pape in the southern Rhone Valley produces really boisterous and rich, ripe wines, generally speaking, quite full bodied as well. Where else is it famous? Well, over in Spain, it's known as Garnacha, and here it produces quite a range of wines actually. The most juicy, rich style of wine, of Garnacha, is going to be coming from the Priorat region, which is up in the north east of uh, Spain there, Priorat around the Pinedes region, and Priorat is producing these big boisterous red wines which are probably quite akin to very very good Chateauneuf de Pops as well. Here generally speaking as it is even a slightly more riper and uh, hotter region as well, Ganacha, often on its own and not in a blend here, this is going to be producing much more black fruit flavours, much more riper and sort of licorice and leathery sort of flavours as well on the nose and palate. Grenache is often found in the much warmer climate, so in the New World you'll see it in California or Australia, here often in GSM blends, or Grenache, Syrah, or in Australia, Shiraz, and Mervedra blends. So GSM blends are often where Grenache is seen, but more often than not you will see, or at least come across, some really stunning single varietal Grenache wines in any of those particular regions as well. Grenache in the glass, especially in its youth, is going to be nice red and ripe red fruit flavours such as wild berries and raspberries and currants and plums. And then as it's ageing or in much warmer climate, you're going to be starting to see black fruits such as black cherries and currants and plums. And then as it ages, you're going to really start seeing this beautiful, spicy, leathery, meaty, and chunky note as well, which is just fantastic. And as it ages, I really love this slightly caramelized note that really good Grenache will get. And so, Grenache is easily the winemaker's grape, or a really good, meaty grape for any red wine lover. So what are you going to be going off and getting today? A Grenache. That's right.